Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and my name is Manish Tiwari. So you can see the watch and the timing which is going on. So in today's video, we are going to talk about timing only and which kind of timing we are going to talk, which is the best time to switch. If you are looking for switch, if you are uh, looking for changing your organization, you want to join the next organization with the new package, with the new workplace, with the new colleagues, then which is the best time? When should you start the preparation? How much time will it take? And how can you prepare yourself? And how can you get a better workplace, better compensation, better colleague at a good organization? So this is what we are going to talk about. And uh, let's uh, start the session. So without any further delay, let me come to the point what I really want to talk about. When to make a switch. And this one I will tell in the last of the video as a, uh, you can say the hint, correct? Which is the best time. But before that, let, uh, let's talk about how can you prepare or how should you prepare? So you might have already seen a lot of videos where I have already talked and you might have seen others video as well, where they have talked about like, how can you prepare yourself? What kind of a skill set you have to prepare? But when it comes to the pathway, what you should prepare first how should you prepare what is the important thing on which you should focus and on which you should prepare so in today's video i'm going to talk on that too so when it comes to the devops interview and you are the one who is already working in the devops section you know the devops terminology you know the devops concept you have been working on the project or if you are the one who has already gone through the DevOps training, gone through the DevOps course, but when it comes to the questions, scenario based question, troubleshooting questions, your generic questions, your scripting question, your CSD workflow, DevOps project explanation, day to day activity, all these kind of things are like a bombarding for you during the interview and you lose your confidence at the same time. So we run devops interview preparation bootcamp batch which is more helpful for you which will 100 percent clear your interview that will help you to clear your interview that will help you to get your confidence high that will help you to revise yourself within half an hour or an hour before interview just suppose that you have an interview just uh, after an hour and you do have an hour left correct you will just go through the content what we are sharing and you will be prepared for your coming interview. You can clear the interview at Infosys, at CL Tech Mahindra, TCS, all the service based organization and even product based organization. We have already delivered the results. That's why I am much confident on this. So we have helped 1500 plus working professionals and this has really made an impact on them. So now it's your turn. In the background, it's time only, correct? You can see the time which is going on. So now it's your time and you should get helped out of that. So you should start your preparation now. So this is the time to start the preparation. Anytime. I'm not just talking about this right now, month, correct? I'm talking about the time. At the moment when you are watching this video, you should start your preparation. If you are not preparing, if you are just thinking about starting the preparation, this is not the right way. This is not the right uh, way of doing the preparation you should start your preparation right now and it will take for sure at least two to three months when you will get or when you will land up uh, on a better offer with a better company so if you are in a hurry if you are a immediate joiner you can get it as soon as possible but I'm talking about the one who is already in the project, who is already working, but they are trying to switch. They are thinking about making a switch. Just suppose that they are at 10 LPA right now. Just considering a simple number and you want 20 LPA. So this is the right time. You should start the preparation. And you should prepare yourself on each and every topic, each and every skill set on which you are working. You should know your project if you are not aware. You should know your project in detail. You should know the complete workflow of your project so that even someone asked from anywhere that how this was integrated, how uh, this particular service was integrated, how this was working, you should be able to explain that. So this is what is expected during the interview from you. So these are the points what I am highlighting and on these things you should focus. Then only you will be able to crack your interview. It's not about 
how much technical you are it's about how much you can explain to the, during the interview that is uh, that matters because it's 30 to 40 minutes interview no one knows what i have you done for four to year, four years or five years of, uh, during your devops experience during your devops journey but what do you explain during 30 to 40 minutes that matters and you can explain the things even if you have not worked then you are done you have cleared your interview so if you have not worked you can come to us we can help you we can uh, share our experience with you and that will for sure help you now let's talk about what all skill set you prioritize how should you uh, learn how should you be learning correct so whenever you start the devops uh, journey correct you might be working or you might have learned about aws cloud the uh, docker kubernetes terraform your ci cd github actions linux cell scripting your uh, Terra, terraform modules and other things correct the level the other devops skills like the devsecops uh, your security scanning tools uh, your apm tools like monitoring tools correct so dynatis splunk l for data log you might have heard you might have been uh, working on that correct now what you should prepare where should you focus how should you create the resume everything i am going to talk about here so you should prepare aws cloud if you are working with the aws cloud first if you are working with azure you should prepare azure if you are working with the google cloud you should prepare gcp first then talk to kubernetes thing you should know what is kubernetes why it is being implemented what is the use case why cannot we run application on EC2 on a server? Why should we go with the Kubernetes world? What is the advantage of that? You should know that. Then how can you create an image out of your source code? Why is it required? How can you like uh, reduce the size of your uh, images? Correct. So all the basic concept with the advanced depth. Correct. You should be knowing that. So Kubernetes, Docker, these are also important things. You should be knowing. Then, Terraform. This one is also important because everywhere in each and every organization you will see that Terraform is being utilized for creating the infrastructure. So AWS, Kubernetes, Docker, Terraform and fifth point what I talk about that is CI CD. You should know CI CD workflow. How can you write a single code or thousand lines of code? You can write Terraform modules into your local then post it to the GitHub repository. And once you have post, how can you integrate this GitHub repository with your Jenkins file, with your GitHub Actions file, and how this will log in into your AWS account? And how can you create, how can you, this uh, code can create the real infrastructure over the cloud? This one you should be aware. So we talked about AWS, Kubernetes, Docker, uh, Terraform, CI CD, these are the five points. Apart from this, these are the major five points. Apart from these five, you should know about Linux, Git, how can you run the Git commands, how can you resolve the conflict, how can you do the troubleshooting on your server. If your Jenkins uh, pipeline is uh, giving this uh, storage related issue, disk space related issue, how can you troubleshoot? So you should know Linux interview questions as well. You should know the depth of that. So these are the way how can you prepare yourself apart from this at the end you should be knowing the monitoring tool at least one monitoring tool you should be knowing Dynatrix, Grafana, Elk, Datadog, Splunk whatever you are comfortable with whatever you have worked upon or whatever you have gone through the learning you should be aware of one monitoring tool at either theoretically or in depth then you can clear any DevOps interview at any organization it's not that much tough. You should get your first order and uh, first offer. And after first offer, you can get as many as offer you want. But the last uh, tip what I wanted to give you. When should you uh, start your preparation? You can start anytime. But when it comes to uh, like this is also the month when you can start the preparation. But if you are the one who is looking for your hike and other things, I will recommend that you do not look for the hike. You just prepare yourself, get the offer. So right now, this is the best time when you are like about to get the appraisal and other things. You can prepare yourself and just don't get 10%, 8% or 15% of increment. Just get 100%, 120%, those kind of increment you should get. Correct. So you should not focus on 8%, 8% or 15%. You should focus on 20%, uh, you should focus on 70%, 80%, 120%, 150%. And of course, you are going to get this in the market. 
So start preparing now. And if you want to inquire about the DevOps interview preparation bootcamp, you can just drop a WhatsApp message on the number which is on the screen and which is in the description. We are also running Diwali offer, so you can grab your opportunity right. So let's meet on the WhatsApp if you do have any inquiry or we will meet in the next video. Till the time, thank you. Bye-bye.